Well, hello everyone. It's lovely to see you again and have you with us for our Smarty Time. Who have you got today? I've got Postman Ted and I will hold his hand while we sing the first song. But before you do that, I've got somebody's birthday to announce. So it's a happy birthday to Freya. She's going to be one on Sunday. So I think you will have a postman bringing you lots and lots of cards. So happy birthday Freya. And now it's going to be Bev who's going to do the singing and the story. So I'll pass you over to Bev. Well, good morning, everyone. It is brilliant to see you today at Smarties. Are you ready for our hello song? Here we go. Hold your partner by the hand now. Let's swing hands to and fro. Hold them high up in the air now. Let's hold them down low. Let's swing them once again now. Let each other's hands go. Now let's look at those around us and shout out hello let's do it again hold your partner by the hand now let's swing hands to and fro hold them high up in the air now let's hold them down low let's swing them once again now let each other's hands go now let's look at those around us and shout out Hello! One more time. Hold your partner by the hand now. Let's swing hands to and fro. Hold them high up in the air now. Let's hold them down low. Let's swing them once again now. Let each other's hands go. Now let's look at those around us and shout out hello. Now let's look at those around us and shout out hello, hello, hello. Let's shout out hello. Fantastic. Well, I wonder if you can spot where I am today. That's right, I'm in a tree. And that's because in a moment we're going to hear a story all about somebody who climbed up a tree to see Jesus. Now, do you remember in our stories, we've been hearing all about the different people who Jesus has rescued and all the ways in which he's rescued people. So today we're going to hear about another person who King Jesus rescued. Are you ready? Called Zacchaeus. He was a very little man, but he had a very big job. His job was to collect money from people in the town and to give it to the king. The problem was Zacchaeus was also a very greedy man and he would collect more than the king asked for and Zacchaeus would keep that for himself. So all day long he was collecting and counting money and everyone knew what he was up to. It made them very cross and grumpy with him. Nobody liked Zacchaeus one bit. And as Zacchaeus counted his money everyone in the city would think there's that horrible man who's taken our money from us we could never be friends with him he isn't kind he doesn't share we don't want to be friends with him one day a huge crowd gathered by the road because jesus was coming to their town and everyone wanted to see him Zacchaeus wanted to see him too, but he was so little, he had a job to see over the shoulders of all the tall people. Suddenly, he had an idea. If I climb that tree, I'll have a really good view. So Zacchaeus scrambled up a sycamore tree. Then he had a fantastic view of Jesus. He was just watching Jesus walk by when suddenly Jesus stopped by the tree and called up to him. Hey Zacchaeus, I'd like to come to your house for tea. I'd like to spend some time with you. 
Well, Zacchaeus nearly fell out of the tree. He was so surprised. No one had ever come to his house before. No one wanted to come near his house. No one liked Zacchaeus. And can you imagine what the crowds thought? Why would Jesus want to go to Zacchaeus' house? He's mean and he's greedy. He probably wouldn't even give Jesus a cup of tea. The people were even more grumpy and cross about Zacchaeus than usual. Well, Zacchaeus wasn't going to miss this moment, so he scrambled down the tree and he took Jesus straight to his house. But he was thinking, hopefully Jesus doesn't know how bad I am. But what do you think? Did Jesus know? He knew. Jesus knew all about Zacchaeus. He knew all about his greediness and his stealing, but he still loved him. Zacchaeus felt ashamed. I know I've done wrong, but now I want to do the right thing. I'm going to give back all the money that I've stolen and I'm going to give everybody back four times as much as I stole. And that is exactly what he did. Jesus said, Zacchaeus, my friend, today God has rescued you. Jesus loved Zacchaeus when no one else did. He was Zacchaeus' friend even when no one else was, even when he was hard to love. And that's because Jesus' love is a wonderful love that never gives up and never stops, even when we don't love him or other people very well. Well, if you enjoyed our story today and you'd like to make a craft, here's one that you could try. Can you see? It's a tree like the sycamore tree that Zacchaeus climbed up and I've used lots of leaves to stick on it. Shall I show you how to do it? All you need is a piece of paper and a brown crayon or a pen and then you need to put your hand and your arm on the paper. See if you can draw around your arm and your fingers. And then, when you've done that, you can colour it in. Then it's going to look like all the branches of a tree. And your arm is going to be the bit that's like the big tree trunk. Can you see? Then you need to find a glue stick. Like this. And you can put glue all over the tree branches. And then you need to ask your mum or dad if you can collect some leaves. If you've got a garden, perhaps you can find some leaves like this on some of the plants. Or you could go to a park or in the street and I'm sure you'll find some leaves there. You can stick them on to your branches where you put all the glue. Stick them on, stick them on. And then we have a lovely tree. There we go. Can you see my tree picture? Have some fun making some trees at home. Well, do you remember how much Jesus loved Zacchaeus? Even though Zacchaeus wasn't very honest, was he? He stole from people. He was naughty and he was unkind and greedy and yet Jesus loved him and that's because Jesus loves us with a wonderful love. It's a forever love and it's a strong love no matter what we've done and who we are. So we're going to sing a song about how wonderful Jesus' love is now and you can do the actions. In the chorus we have to say it's so high you can't get over it and you can reach as high as you can and then as low as you can and then as wide as you can. Are you ready to sing? Here's some music for us now. Ready? Jesus love is very wonderful Jesus love is very wonderful Jesus love is very wonderful oh wonderful love so high you can't get over it so low 
You can't get under it so wide. You can't get round it all. Oh, wonderful love. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. So high. You can't get under it so low. You can't get under it so wide. You can't get around it. Oh, wonderful love. Great singing, everyone. Now, can you remember a few weeks ago, Christina made us a wonderful bear hunt video. So would you like to go on a bear hunt this morning? If you want, you can do all the actions, or you could get a wooden spoon from the kitchen and a pot and you could bang them, or a shaker, anything you like. Have a watch of this video. Are you afraid? No. We're going on a bear hunt. Take pictures with my camera. Open up the door, squeak. Walk down the road. Coming to a bridge. Can't go under it. Have to go over it. Coming to a tree. Can't go under it. Guess we'll have to climb it. Can you see a bear? <gasps> no. Coming to a river. Can't go under it. Let's get in the boat. Coming to a cave. Let's creep inside. Is anybody there? <gasps> I see two eyes. And a big furry body. <gasps> Let's take a pup -pu -pu picture. Run! It's a bear! Quick, back in the boat. Quick, back up the tree. Quick, back across the bridge. Quick, back down the road. Quick, back in the house. Phew. Are you afraid? No. Well, it's nearly time for us to go now, so we're going to sing our final song. I wonder if you've got a little monkey soft toy. If you haven't, you can just use um, one like mine. And you, are you ready to jump on the bed? Because we're going to sing three little monkeys jumping on the bed. Here we go. Let's get some music and we're off. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed One fell off and hit his head Mummy called the doctor and the doctor said No more monkeys jumping on the bed Two little monkeys jumping on the bed One fell off and bumped his head Ouch! Mummy called the doctor and the doctor said No more monkeys jumping on the bed One left One little monkey jumping on the bed He fell off and bumped his head Ow! Mummy called the doctor and the doctor said No more monkeys jumping on the bed Let's go 
Well, that's all we've got time for in Smarties this morning. We hope you have a great week and that we see you all again next week. Bye!